Hello, I'm Wendy Gelbert and welcome to my video. When you're painting in the traditional watercolours and oils, there are many rules to obey. But once we start adding inks and pencils and pastels, we break all the rules and create interesting work. Well, while we're waiting for this to dry, we can start another area of the painting and do the wood grain over the doors with the pencils and watercolours. Right, we get a loaded brush full of watercolours and this is brown and a burnt sienna. A little bit of yellow ochre as well. And also bring that colour over to the other side. So again, it's a continuation of the old wood. Get a bit of grey and then paint this in, letting it fusing together so that this isn't touching the wet masking fluid at all. Bring this down and across this side so it's mixing together on the surface and it doesn't matter if it goes a bit blotchy because that gives a lovely feeling of old wo ancient wood anyway. So sometimes these mistakes can be to your advantage. You can even do a little tiny bit of splattering. That's splintering the paint into your painting from the end of your brush. And over the other side, it adds, adds just a little bit of ageing there. And we get our pencil and we redraw some of the wood grain that we've just slightly washed out. And you can draw it but break up some of the, the lines so it makes it, again, a little bit more natural. And while it's still wet, look at the wood grain and see the way it swirls and twirls around. And another one, another design. Don't repeat the same design because it doesn't look natural that way. And uh, perhaps that does need a little bit more accentuation underneath there, a bit of shadow. Now the other side, the wood is going the opposite way, so you need to look carefully at the way this is put together. Mm -hmm. 